Hey you guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to do a tutorial on these super cute peachy Valentine's themed nails with the love charms. So first things first, I'm going to go in and create the French smile line with, um, I forgot the name, oh my god. It's called Cover Blush by JC Beauty Concepts. So I'm just creating the French on this nail and then when I'm doing something different I'll come back but it's like the same process that I've always done on majority of my French nail videos I'm just applying a super dry bead to start off and I'm kind of trying to do not really a deep deep French like that but deep enough to where you can see the contrast of colors so I'm just patting it molding it and then when I'm doing something else I'll be back y'all Now I'm going to go in with iGel Beauty's Peach Blossom and I've had this acrylic powder for a while like probably like over three years or something when I was a beginner I bought a bunch of iGel Beauty so with this you kind of want to put some acetone in your monomer to kind of make it more manageable and not so runny because I do notice with the iGel Beauty powders it is sort of runny so you want to keep that in mind if you're on a budget and you want to grow your collection but can't afford to pay you know like $13 per acrylic and you want to find something cheaper I think iGel is a good backup if you just want more variety and then as you grow your collection and see what you really like you can get different colors from different companies but I'm just going in with this one and don't worry about the shape too much when it comes to application you can use a hand file or e-file to kind of fix it so that's what I keep in mind and being that it's on my practice hand is kind of different with the way that my desk is in recording. So whatever is not perfect, whatever imperfections I have, I just go in in the end with my hand file and just fix the shape up. I just try to make sure I keep it as balanced as possible. Alright y'all, so now I'm going in with the peach blossom color as well. I'm going in with the wet bead just so I can get in the cracks and crevices of the nail and just that sidewall to make sure that there's coverage and then I'm just going to cover the bottom layer. After that, I'm just going to keep building the acrylic on the nail and then you know how it's going to go. It's going to look crazy and stuff like that, but afterwards it's going to be super duper cute. So I'm just working that in there, patting it down, dragging it or whatever, and then um, continue building it. And I'll be back when we're doing something different.
All right, so we're gonna be using Seahorse by Glitter Bells, and this is their glitter acrylic. And this one is like a peachy color. I was so happy when my randomizer chose this one because I haven't had a chance to use it. So with this middle finger, I'm gonna do a full glitter nail. Um, I just go in with small beads and just spread it out as much as I can because I don't want it to pack onto the nail. Like I always tell y'all, I kind of want to see the clear and I also want to see the glitter just so that I can really see like every light change that the nail glitter has or whatever. So that's why I do it the way that I do it. So I'm just going in, spreading it out, getting that coverage that I need. And then I'm going to kind of do the same thing to the ring finger but I'm not gonna do the full nail, I'm gonna go in halfway. So I know on this one I said I was going to go halfway, but then I was like, nah, because I'm going to be applying nail charms and stuff, I decided to take it just a little bit higher, being that I want the glitter to really be the start of the show. I didn't really care for like the ombre to be like the main event for the nail, so I just brought it up, I'm going to say like 75%. So you want to use wet beads and you also want to make sure they're wet so that you can kind of move the glitters around because they might be like too much in one area so I'd use really wet beads so that I can always continuously move it and adjust it to my liking. Now I'm going back in with JC Beauty Cover Blush and I'm going to do my ombre and everybody does theirs differently but I go in with really really small beads just so I could get that blend going and then as I work my way up I use like you know slightly thicker beads to get the coverage that I want and I just go in little by little drag down to try to get the coverage that I want and then I continue on so this is pretty simple to do. Um, I didn't do like a super duper low ombre. I just wanted to ombre where the nail was showing in the background. So that was pretty much good because I'm going to use nail charms for this so I don't have to go too far down with the ombre. So now I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate the nails and I'm using Mia Secret Clear. I'm just going to go ahead and encapsulate it. I'm going to get it thick enough to my liking but being that it's a practice nail I don't want to go like super hard or do it super duper thick. I don't need it to be super thick. I just need to cover the glitter so that when I hand file it it can be a smooth process and I don't get any chips in my glitter or anything like that. So that's what I'm doing just encapsulating getting that nail covered and I'm going to do that to both the middle finger and this ring finger so that we can go ahead and get to the fun part, the charms.
All right, y'all, so now that we have the nails shaped and filed, when I saw the color get picked, I was like, oh my gosh, I know exactly which charms I'm gonna use. I have these love charms that I got from Shein, and I was like, Valentine's is coming up, so I might as well do it, and it came out so cute. So I'm going in with this Betty Cora rhinestone glue, and this is like the same thing as the McCart one. The only difference that I noticed between the two is that with this one, the gel is a little bit thicker. It isn't as watery. I don't know how to explain it. I like both of them, but this one is a little bit thicker. So when I'm recording, um, it works better. And I placed it so that the LO could be on one and then the VE could be on the other nail. <laughs> and oh my gosh, y'all. This is so cute. Like, I got to do this on my hands. So now I'm going in with these little butterflies. And by the way, you guys, just in case you're wondering, all of these nail charms are on Shein. I think that... Um, they're really affordable. If you know, you know. If you watch my channel, you know. I go and do Shein hauls all of the time. I love Shein. Like, it has everything you need. So, on this one, I had this little heart crown and I decided to remove it because I didn't really like it. Then I had these little flowers and this heart. It, it was just going, y'all. Like, the, it was just going. I put the butterflies, the flowers, and the set really came together. I absolutely loved every single part of doing this. Then I started just adjusting like the heart to be slanted a little bit because I felt like that was a cute little aesthetic. Um, I started moving the flowers and then I went ahead and cured it. And if you guys need to rewatch it to kind of slow down to see the placement, you can. Now it's time for top coating. And then I'm going to show you guys the final look, y'all. These nails were so pretty. I know I always say, like, oh, my God, this is my favorite. Oh, my God, this is my favorite. But, like, when the nails come to life, it just excites me. Like, that glitter in the background is popping. It's so pretty. Like, Glitter Bells did that. And if you know, you know. I'm a Glitter Bells girly. I love Glitter Bells acrylic. Like, it just sets the tone and then also with the eye gel beauty a lot of people may not be a fan of it but like i said when i was a beginner i was on a specific budget and i wanted as many colors as possible so i made a pretty big purchase with eye gel beauty and to work with their products you do need a little bit more patience you got to put some acetone in your monomer to kind of help it you know be a little bit more sturdy and not so watery but just you know take your time and do the nails. But this is the final look. You see the love, period. <laughs> so cute but be sure to like and subscribe to my channel let me know which nail was the cutest and if you like this set and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one and y'all subscribe to my channel okay we trying to get to is it 3k i think so we trying to get to 3k y'all okay oh no we're trying to get to 4k <laughs> we're trying to get to 4k so be sure to like and subscribe love y'all bye